Welcome back, everyone. Going into hour two of week five here. Baron's looking for some runes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is there anything you're looking for in particular, Baron? In the uh, in the in the area, are you looking for like a, a a lead on a bigger dwarven settlement, or like what's what's in Baron's mind and heart here when he's exploring? Uh, looking for either things that are left behind that could be useful to us as a party, and then if there's any signs of any paths or or trails that are leading away that could possibly lead us somewhere else. Sure. Yeah. Let's let's have you make a uh, let's have you make a, a an investigation check, and you can do it with um, do it with advantage because um, uh, Plum's going to give you a hand. Okay. Seventeen. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. You got you, eighteen because that advantage. Yeah. Yeah. With that with that eighteen. Um, yeah, it's it's long faded, and and to anyone who wasn't looking explicitly for it, you'd probably think it was just a, a coincidence of of sort of flat rocks, but. In your mind's eye, as you walk around the, the ruins, you can see part of the, the terrain that's flattened with little bits and pieces of, of stone in a kind of regular pattern that looks like uh, it might have been a, a road, a primitive road uh, at some point, maybe like clay tiled road. And you can see it and it leads up uh, a mountain, like up a pass into the, um, uh, into the hills. Uh, you don't know how far it goes uh, or to where, but there's absolutely like a, a road leading from this little outpost up into the into the hills. Cool. Uh, Plum, I, I think I found what looks like it might be a, a trail or a path, maybe even a road here. Yeah, he, he, he smiles at you and, and looks and he's like, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't see it. it. It just looks like more rocks. Yeah, it's kind of hard. It's very faded and hard to see, but I can just see the outline of a pattern here. We might even be able to follow it, but we don't have enough time today. He, uh, he nods. He says, perhaps we can return after we deal with these creatures. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. Uh, did you find anything? He, he shakes his head. He says, no, just broken pottery, bits of stone. People lived here, but a long time ago. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything of value left. Uh, perhaps we should head back? He nods. It is getting late. All right, so then we travel back to the others. Okay. All right. So, Vilmir, Zephira, uh, I guess everybody, once once you've, you've reconvened, um, and we're in the very early parts of Twilight, uh, what, uh, what's everybody going to do? Sorry, Max sneezed and I was finishing chewing, so there was a weird... <laughs> <laughs> a non-answer for a little bit. Yeah. You just saw his knee just mute up and go, I barely caught that. I don't know if you caught the early part of the sneeze. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Um, I mean, I think maybe they just come back as we're like, as I'm stepping out of the hole and Max is kind of like setting the, whatever the mechanism on the trap uh, when, when they roll up behind us. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I just turn back and say, I'm so happy to see you're still standing. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Plum and Plum looks at Baron and then looks at you like, what, "Are you talking to me or him? I don't?" <laughs> uh, yeah, we're uh, we're back. Um, we didn't find anything of too much use in the foundation, but I think I may have found possibly a, a path or even a road that leads up into the mountains. Might be something worth pursuing tomorrow. Hmm. Perhaps uh, we we should definitely check the trap as well as that. Um. I believe our biggest hurdle is now finding a proper place to camp. Yeah, you need to find somewhere close enough to watch and far enough not to get caught if they stumble across us. We are deep into enemy territory. I do not believe a campfire is going to work tonight. It's not wise. Bellamere no. will need you to keep it down, if you know what I'm saying. And don't get to have sex with a fire tonight. No, no sex with the fire tonight. Not, especially not in front of Plum. That's something you have to ease them into, these commoners. These simple Miller folk. Just kind of smiles at, at Plum, but like, like, am I joking? Am I not? Yeah, he, he, la he laughs nervously, like, uh, uh, yes, very amusing. <laughs> <laughs> there were no structures at all in that uh, town, or the ruins, rather, Baron? Yeah, it was mostly just a pile of ruin. Everything was destroyed. The walls were falling apart. There was not, mu not much shelter could be made there. Plum, how long ago did you say these hill folk lived here? 
uh, he says, um, longer than I was alive. Um, the elders of the village talk about it, but um, I, I've never, I've never seen them myself. It's definitely been many, many years since anyone's lived over there. I really wonder if these kobolds could do something like that, or if there's something even larger in these hills that we do not know about. It definitely seemed like what they're saying, it's the hill dwarves that used to live here. I just worry that perhaps we're running into something that is not uh, three feet tall with sharp fangs and perhaps 20 feet tall with large swords. I Just always being the, uh, the pessimist here. But enough of that. Let's try to find a place to camp. I guess I... What is a camp? A camp? It's just like a camp, <laughs> but it's a good one. <laughs> ah, I see. It looks so, so it's a soldier's term, all right? It's El Genasi. We pronounce things differently in the army, okay? <laughs> Relax. <laughs> okay. So you want to uh you want to camp, I assume, within uh within eyesight of the um of the trap that you've laid? Yeah. Okay. Close right. enough where we can, you know, tell something's we can hear and, and tell something. You're not gonna light a fire, you want to um keep a low wanna, profile. Yeah, you wanna keep it keep low it light vision. Deal. Yeah, the fear is gonna be Mechan mechanically. What does that mean? Um, so I mean, you'd have to you'd have to stay hidden. You tell me how far away from from the trap you want to be. Uh, someone can make a stealth test to uh, obscure the camp, uh, and then you rest and you watch the camp and or you watch the the trap and hope something uh, stumbles into it. I will obscure the camp. I'm sorry, the comp. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so you're gonna you're gonna set up the uh, you're gonna set up the camp and, and try to, to maintain a hidden area. Okay. Fuck yeah. It's Fifteen. Right. Yeah. And uh, how far away are you gonna be from the uh, from the trap? I think like hundred feet, maybe. How far can you see? Can, yeah, you can see sixty feet, right? Sixty yeah. feet. Sixty feet. Yeah. Then. Okay. All right, so you'll uh, you'll set up uh, about sixty feet away, um, and uh, what did you get for your stealth roll? You got a nineteen? No, you got fifteen because you didn't know. No, I got a nineteen. You read that right? Yeah, well, I got that fifteen, man. What are you talking about? Fifteen still pretty. I mean, good. that nineteen. What are you talking about? <laughs> Can't okay. even fucking troll correctly right now. All right, so you uh, you set up camp, and uh, everyone uh, uh, takes uh, takes a moment to uh, to get settled in, and you you rest. Uh, now you're only, I think you said, only about sixty feet away from where the uh, the tracks were, which you've set this this pit trap, and uh, you, you <clears throat> commence to resting. Um, so again, you can you rest, but it's not another long rest. Not that it matters. You don't have to recover anything. Just that you took a long rest already, so you're you're able to sleep and stuff. And people take turns watching. Um, and I think, let me just roll a couple of things here. Um, does Plum have a watch on his own or is it, is he? Uh, uh, I don't know if we trust him with Plum. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Not because we think he's gonna be bad, but because I, we trust each other as magistrates. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, so, Baron, on your, uh, on your watch, um, I need you to make a perception uh, test for me. Okay. Don't fuck this up. Yeah. 14. Okay. 14 is, yeah, 14 is fine. Um, so you hear, like, partway through the night, you hear lots of sounds, right? Like, you're, you're out in the wilderness. You hear, like, maybe, like, um, coyotes or something in the hills uh, for a while, like, barking at each other. That fades uh, as they, they go off to hunt. Uh, you can see some bats against the silhouette of the moon at one point. Like what, being on watch is actually pretty boring. It's several hours of just sitting there alone with no fire, just kind of trying not to fall asleep. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, at one point you hear something like a, a, a rustling uh, down, by the, uh, down by the trap. And you definitely hear uh, at least one, maybe more uh, voices uh, doing that kind of like, shh, what? <laughs> Shut up, like whisper to each other uh, in the uh, in the dark, uh, and definitely it's definitely coming from the area of the trap. Um, can I tell if it sounds human or if it sounds not human? Um, get a fourteen. Yeah, it's it's deeper than maybe you expected from from kobolds. 
um, they're, they're making an effort to, to try to be quiet. Um, but, uh, they're not doing, they're not doing that great a job to be totally honest. Okay. Um, I will, I will, uh, tap the other shoulders to wake them up and then, uh, tell them that I hear voices. So, Hey guys, what's going on? What? I, I hear something down there. I, I don't you think it's those creatures. Are they screaming? What is happening? I, I hear speaking. Like, but it doesn't. It doesn't sound like it's one of those creatures. It sounds like something else. It's definitely speaking aloud to other things. Velomir like tilts his head to try to like listen. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah. Once once you all get quiet, you you don't hear the the voices anymore. Uh, whoever it is, they've stopped talking to each other. But there is definitely some some like movement. You can hear uh, like someone trying to move quietly through that little pass that you uh, you are. Would in. I be able to see it then? Because I have low light. Yeah, do you want to you want to like pop up and have a look? Yeah, just pop up and have a look. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you're you're kind of in uh, an area between two sets of hills, and you can just like crawl up to the top of the hill and peer over down down this hill towards the trap. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there's there's four uh, four figures, four humanoid figures. Uh, they're varying between five feet and six feet tall. Uh, they're wearing um, uh, cloaks, so you can't see if they have armor on or weapons. Uh, one of them is sitting on the ground. Uh, the other one is kneeling next to him and appears to be like bandaging his foot. And uh, the other two are like on the lookout, kind of like peering around. Uh, those two have crossbows. You can see them clutching them in their, in their hands. Hello, cuties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you see these, these four. Yeah, uh, I guess as uh, you like... Down in, down in the way. As you peer out, I'm just like, what? I can't see shit. What do you see? <laughs> yeah, it's dark as fuck. There's four figures. They look somewhat humanoid. Uh, one's helping the other two on watch with crossbows. I cannot tell from this distance. Mm. I just try, yeah. yeah. He does I, not seem, I mean, maybe one has gone into the trap, I think maybe. That's why he's standing to the other's foot. I do not know if these are cobalts, though. <laughs> they definitely aren't, yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling they are not. It's like a voice is inside me saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, just looking at them, they're they're much too big to be uh, to be cobalt. Like a master of some sort is talking to me. <laughs> Plum, do you do you know of any other people that live here? Bandits, perhaps? Have you heard of anything? Plum scowls, uh, and he says, "Bandits, almost certainly bandits." These hills have been uh, completely abandoned. There, there's no reason for anyone to live up here. It's unlivable. I mean, and he looks over at uh, By humans, I mean, mm -hmm. we can't farm, so there's no reason to hide up here. Only criminals would be this far out. Uh, do we engage them or do we let them pass? If we engage, we might perhaps rumble whatever else is up here in these hills as well. That is my only fear. But if we engage, then perhaps we get the jump on them and we don't see them later on. Yeah, I mean, they definitely they definitely don't know you're here. And they're not using a light source, correct? Just... Um, yeah, they're just using the, the moon. So that it's either they can see in the dark or they're, they're okay with having, like, crap lighting. Um, it might also be that they're, they're very familiar with this area and aren't, um, aren't concerned with... Uh, you know, they, they've walked this path a bunch of times and they're just like on their way from one place to another. If we do fight these people, we must make a decision quick, but also I cannot see and nor can plumb. So we either need to, and I kind of like go, go in my pack and bring out one of those uh, insect sacks and say, uh, and maybe like dim it, like cup it in my hand so it's not just bright everywhere. Uh, I say, we need to paint one of them with this, and that will be the target that I go after. You two can, of course, go after one of the other ones. Yeah. That would be the way that we start this fight. Yeah, I... Is I not even know if these people are bad. They are wearing cloaks, so definitely mysterious. I what, trust... What I, I trust Plum. Plum... Like, Plum says that bandits are the only thing that would go up this far. So yeah, he hasn't he hasn't taken his eyes off of um, uh, the 
the the the men or men and women down in the in the little like area. Um, Plum see this shit. You know he's he's trying to is the thing. Like he's, oh. he's squinting and like staring down into the uh, into the darkness, but he's only kind of half listening. Um, and uh, yeah, you said I I trust Plum, and he looks over his shoulder and he's like I'm, I mean I'm almost certain they're bandits. I you can't tell just by looking at them, of course. I see four, maybe five. It's I'm sorry. Uh, maybe if I got a better look at them, Velamir. If they are bandits, like we say, then they are bandits to everyone else. And right. they could stumble across us if we were not careful. Anyways, this is true. We do not know which way they are going, or if they will come near us. I guess we engage. I, um, I like hand you one of the insect sacks and say, "Paint me a target." <laughs> So Plum Plum says to uh, to to you, um, Baron, just like quietly as the other two, as like Zephyr is pulling out the, the orb. Um, Plum is like, but what what if they're not? What if they're just travelers and and we attack them and and kill them and they're just innocent men? Then I don't like this. Well, Plum, then we have our first secret. <laughs> And he, you can see, like, Baron, you can see he's having a real hard time with this. He's like, yeah. ah, I don't know. I, Plum, Plum is right. We do not know what these men are. I, maybe we should ask you them if we're there. Uh, we I'm can... not, I can't stealth very much anyways. <laughs> Perhaps we could try speaking to them. And if, if they are bad, then you guys can ambush them from the sides because they won't know you're there. How about this? I can lead, stealth up, you guys follow behind, get ready for ambush, and if things go south, we have the jump. Again, I cannot see sheet. <laughs> yeah. I will use the insect sack, of course. I'm okay with this. I will sneak behind you. This does this satisfy? You, Plum, you feel okay with this, and you, Baron. We yes. must make a decision quickly. They will leave, be leaving soon. I let's let's do it. Let's go for it. All right, Velomir's going to go ahead and stealth roll, stealth check, and try to okay. lead the way. So, me. so Velomir, Velomir, and Baron, uh, you you should be able to see uh, to the extent of your vision uh, in our map. Uh -huh. uh, Zephira, you are you're in. You are in the dark. Yep, as usual. You and you and Plum. These definitely look like friendly people. Just gonna yeah, definitely not um, mad at all. So you wanna you wanna try to sneak towards them. So this there's the there's this little crest of hills between you. You can kind of go up and down. Counts as uh, difficult terrain if you want to race through it. So each square is twice as long as it appeared to be. And you have a little crest behind you. A couple of scrub bushes around. And then there's this you know, this little path that kind of carves through where you're at. Um, so if you, uh, if you sneak, you can start to sneak around the, around them this way, if you want to, that would be an approach you could take. Are you saying sneak around on over yonder? Oops. Yeah. Like down this way, you can kind of get through that area. Yeah, exactly. And then sure. Uh, All right. Yeah. Bill will do that. What's the distance on that? Like, okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, we haven't, we haven't, there's no combat. There's no initiative yet. So just go ahead and sick. roll. Go ahead and roll your your stealth. Stealth. I'll see if. Well, we'll see how stealthy I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Usually, I'm pretty stealthy. Um, skadoosh. Ho. Oh, uh, nice. Oh, yeah, very I'm slow. A ghost. All right, Adam. So, if I want to stealth next to Baron, do I need to go stealth as well? Do I need to roll? Um, yeah. I mean, this is the thing, right? Like, you're trying to be stealthy in the dark, so you're you're going to step on things and like trip over stuff. You're going to be at a disadvantage to do it. Um, but if you want to just stand perfectly still and, and hide, yeah, I don't, I don't want to move. I just want to make sure that yeah. I'm not sure. there on any level. Yeah. Anyone who wants to, uh, if you're, if you're not moving or anything, standing perfectly still, they're, they're in the dark too. Uh, you know, you can, you can let me know um, if you move, but otherwise they yeah, will we'll roll if they have to like try to find you. Okay. Um, great. Plum, also not really actively being stealthy. Um, Baron, are you trying to hide too? Or are you planning on moving? Or are you just going to stay where you are? Um, I will... 
I think I should try to get up as close as I can and try to speak to them. And then if, if they don't reply back or I can tell that they're going to attack, then the people that are stealth will, will then attack from. Uh, okay. So do you want to go the other way? You want to like come out the, the front of the way they yeah. were going and be like, hello friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hello. <laughs> and maybe even Plum comes with me with a torch. Ah, okay. Sure. Um, so Plum is waiting to, to light the torch until after Velomir uh, slips away. So yeah. Velomir, you, you start to make your way around the, uh, around the corner. Um, and I will see if they, uh, well, I'll see if they notice you in a second. So Baron, you want to, you want to head out. So let's, let's light up a torch for, uh, for Plum here. Wait, is he Plum's right next torch? to me? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll, he can be wherever, wherever you want I, him to Well be. then when the torch comes on, I guess I want to move forward a little bit as far as possible that I could stealth without disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll show you the, we'll show you the, the range when he, he lights his torch here. So great. This is uh this is the torch light. Um, should be able to see now. There you go. Yeah. So he lights the torch. That? Um, yes. Yeah, so they will notice that, um, there's this, this the area, this little hill here, are... blocking, it's blocking direct line of sight. You have to climb up it to be able to see over it. Um, but they see the light and you can hear them like, go from their kind of like stage whispery, like Shh, be quiet okay. to like s actual silence. And uh, that's when like Baron, you and uh, you and Plum can come around the, around yeah. the corner here. Can know. I come up to like there? Oh, so we're really not being stealthy at all. We're just like, hi, no, you are. Yeah. Uh, they, me and you are. Can I, can I go over there without disadvantage? Um, yeah, you can, you can go ahead and make your, as long as you're in the light, um, uh, make your, um, here's stealth, uh, stealth. Yeah. I don't have inspiration. Please, 14. Not okay. bad. All right. So not all of them are distracted by, uh, well, let's, let's see. Let's see how they do on a wisdom check. Okay. All right. So Zephira, you and uh, Velomir remain kind of hidden. They're, they're mostly all paying attention this way. <laughs> so yeah. Baron, you come around the corner and you can see them a little better now. Uh, they have, um, they have uh, short, short cloaks, really more like mantles and capes that come down just below their waist. Um, and then they have um, scarves like wrapped around their, their head. Uh, most of them have them wrapped around their faces, so you can only see uh, their eyes kind of peering out uh, at you. Bandit looking. But, but two of them, uh, two of them, the one, the injured one on the ground here, this guy, um, and uh, the one next to him. Uh, that was that was like helping him. Uh, they both have their the mask part pulled down, and you can see just like they have um, they they appear to be human. They just have like kind of peasant faces. Um, and uh, yeah, so you um, you see them, and they they see you because you emerge into the light. And uh, the the one closest to you kind of is startled uh, by you uh, coming around the corner, and he says, um, puts his hand up and through his mask, uh, he <laughs> says. Um, uh, and he says, uh, oh, oh, there, keep your distance, stranger. And he kind of like looks at the, the two of you and uh, recognizes, I think, Plum's uniform and says to Plum, uh, you're a bit outside of the goat rider's range, don't you think, officer? And at the word officer, you hear, I think Zephira and, uh, and Belmir, you hear like the hissing sound of like knives being drawn from boot sheaths. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the, the one talking to you, to the two of you, uh, says to Baron, um, uh, you there, are you a priest? We have an injured among us. Someone set a trap in the road and my friend walked right into it. Um, Plum looks nervous. Uh, you know, you, you cast a glance at him and he's just like holding the torch. He's got his hand on his, uh, on his sword, uh, but hasn't, hasn't drawn it yet. Uh, yes, my child. I'm, I am a priest of temperance. Um, I'm afraid that we did lay this trap and I am deeply sorry that you fell into it. Um, perhaps I can help your friend to make up for our, the mistake. We, uh, we're actually out here looking for creatures that we laid this trap for. We did not mean to for you to step into it. Oh, shit, and, he's uh, going the truth route. This never works. <laughs> okay. Danny yeah. D and D noob. <laughs> well, no. But the thing is, you don't you don't have to roll to to um 
deceive him because that's true. You are out here looking for. <laughs> no. it, immediately, it immediately explains why a priest and a soldier would be out in the middle of the of the hills. <laughs> I know, I was being a dick. <laughs> yeah. So the 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 bandit, I think, uh, he, he he nods um, and like pulls his mask down, uh, and you can see he's like you know got he's missing a couple of teeth and he's got like one like gold tooth and he grins. Um, Sorry, did you say a bandit pulls his mask down, mask down? Yeah, that's what you've been calling him, right? <laughs> so he pulls his he pulls his mask down and he, he gestures to his injured friend who's like sitting on the floor, and you can see like on his dirty face, he's like streaks of like tears, and he's trying not to look as injured as he is. He's got his boot off and it's like lying next to him. He's like holding his foot and wincing. Um and the the leader of the guy in front gestures to to the injured man and he says, Please. And, and gestures for you to to come over and take a look. And his friend steps out of the way. And like Velomir, this this person is like like five feet from you. You could reach out and slap them in the back of the head if you wanted to, <laughs> or slit their throat. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I will uh, approach the injured man and try to see if I can heal it or see if I can investigate the wound. Okay. All right. Um, Plum keeps his distance. Yeah. Uh, so you you walk over um, the the four that are around you here they don't none of them have drawn weapons um, and uh, the the two like the one that was helping him stands up and she she shakes her head and, and she's like we might as well leave him for dead baby and uh, he looks he looks at you Baron and he's like it went right through my foot ruined a perfectly good pair of boots <laughs> what were you trying to catch with this thing it's only two feet deep it's a good thing I didn't fall I could have landed on my face. And then what would have happened? I could have lost an eye. I need these. I know. I'm so sorry that this happened. Have you, have you gentlemen have seen these small creatures that come out at night and probably prone to stealing or ambushing? Because that's what we were trying to capture. The, um, the girl that was helping him, she says, um, <laughs> you're looking for the little creatures, like rats. Like, yeah, like, like rat men. Things. They're all over this place. They've been raiding the farms, as I understand it. And uh, and she uh, she shakes her head and she says, um, we've been able to avoid them for the most part. But they're out there. Yeah, that's the only reason we're here. We have no other, we have no, uh, other reason for being here. Um, can I take a look at your foot? He, he gestures. He's like, please, brother. And... I guess I will look at the foot and try to see if I can help the bleeding. Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll a medicine check. Okay. Wow. Nice. Yeah, 24. Totally. Yeah, I mean, the guy's, the guy's being kind of a baby. He's got, uh, you know, he's got a, an injured foot, but he... Um, uh, you know he's he's not uh, he's not too badly off. He was making a lot of uh, making a lot of fuss out of nothing. Um, so you bind his wounds, uh, and uh, he, he pulls his boot on and like kind of looks through the hole first. He's like, "I suppose it's not so bad. I, I think I can stand." And he, he gestures for you to like help him up. I help him to his feet. Um, I'm deeply sorry that this happened. Um, you can be on your way, my friends. I. If you if you have no more information on these creatures um, that could help us, um, then thank you for um, again. I'm sorry that this happened. Yeah. So he uh, he says um, it's it's all right. It just <clears throat> this is dangerous. We we use this pass when we're coming, and then one of the other one of the other ones is like, "Shut up!" And he's like, "Oh, uh, we're we're just tr- traveling through." Uh, I'm I'm sorry, brother. And and he he looks over at um. You notice now that two of them are kind of like standing behind Plum, and and Plum like is noticing them and is kind of like trying to edge away from them without giving up that like something's going on. But they're making him very nervous. And uh, the one that's near you gives a look to one of the ones near uh, near Plum. Can you make an uh, insight? Yes, the old look. Yeah, the look. fabled it's, legend and lore. He looks over, and it's it's not a like. <sighs> kind of look, but he, he, there's a moment. The two of them have a, have a moment. There's some information that transmits there. Um, but yeah, make a make an insight for that. 25. Oh, Holy yeah, shit. Totally. Okay. Dan knows yeah. the look. Yeah. He's not so, the noob we all think he is. Mm-hmm. 
this is this is a look of uh, a man who is about to be expected to do a thing he does not want to do. There's a, a moment of pleading where he looks at the the woman who's obviously his leader and looks like, please, I don't want to have to do this. Like, look how nice he is. He's been kind to me, tended my wounds. I, I don't want to have to do what you what she wants him to do. Mm -hmm. um, so you you catch this look as they uh, as he he get, uh, cat, like looks past you. You get his, his eyes in the in the torchlight flicker a little. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, do, do you want to say or do anything? So at that moment, I shout now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Perfect. So uh, now. <laughs> It's funny if we just did nothing. He's startled and and kind of like uh, like starts when you you shout that and uh, let's let's uh, let's roll initiative. It's <laughs> good. Oh, uh, I didn't have my. No! Can I have that eighteen? I didn't have myself targeted though. Yeah, just, I'm that's imagining. Okay. I'm imagining that though. Just like it goes quiet after he's like just tended the wound. He's like, okay, be on your way. And it's like, fucking these no! initiative oh, rolls. Oh, killing it. All right. Do we get a surprise round? Uh, yes, you will. Me, because, me, and, uh, me and Max do. Uh, yes, exactly. You and Max will. Uh, Fuck, that's it. what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. It was mm -hmm. a very well executed ambush. Um, mm -hmm. So let's, uh, let's roll for it. You, you need initiative, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm doing it right now. Oop. Holy shit. <laughs> that's right. That's the, right. The, best, the best initiatives y'all have. We go ever. hard on this ambush. 18, okay. 21, 21, and they roll a 13. Let me pop. Uh, I'm just gonna pop uh, old old Plummy here out, and we'll add a turn for him. Okay, so there you go. Plum fucking beat him. He can run away. Get you some Plum. <laughs> he can't. He can't go on this this turn. He'll get to go on the next one, but he does beat them. Yeah. So, okay, uh, Velmir, you are uh, you are first. After you. All right. There. Um. Fucking fucking a. Right. I don't fucking know. How close am I? About, You're super uh, close. Yeah, I'm like super yeah. close. They could literally come up. They would have no idea. I'm right there. Yeah, like they're, they don't know you're there. They have no there. idea, yeah. They're looking at Baron, and you will just like emerge with the darkness. All right, I'm going to take this right guy and assume that Zephyr will take the left after seeing. Okay. I'm gonna go up there. I'm going to do some fucking sneak attack damage. I'm going to go dual wield on these motherfuckers. So did you notice I added to your character sheet uh, an, an alternate version of your dagger called Offhand? Um, this way no. now you can roll and does the right damage. We don't have to recalculate it. Um, I also added sneak attacks to all of your attacks, so you don't have to roll them separately. We can just ignore nice. it if you want a sneak attack. Oh, Sweet. you being I, do, I, I don't often read comments from the chat, but this one's worth it. Baron was regularly the main character in the annual play in his church. I, that was beautifully, <laughs> beautifully worded comment there. Yeah, totally. He's, he's the baby temperance in all the nativity scenes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Belmir, go ahead and move and do your thing. All right, let's go. Let's get him. Belmir is coming up. Sneaky sneak. And we're going to do some attacks. Hit him with the short sword first. Pow. What up? All right. Uh, 12, you hit. And, and which one are you attacking? The, the one who stepped into the trap or the other one? Which one's which? The, the one directly in front of you is the one that stepped in the trap. Yeah, that guy. Okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Even though he, I mean, I didn't catch the look. He's just a bandit to me. Fuck him. Yeah, it's fine. Roll, All right. Uh, yeah, roll damage. Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. So uh, for uh, this, just means that before you roll damage, you have to decide if it's a sneak attack because it auto rolls. You can't decide after you've you rolled. So yeah. um, now you uh, you you have advantage anyway because you you have someone within five feet. You hit with the twelve. You deal four damage. Uh, you want to sneak uh, yeah. sneak attack this guy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, just describe to me Velomir's emerging from the shadows like a master assassin. How do you kill this guy? Velomir just kind of creeps up a little bit, and then <laughs> right, right after he hears now, he just like springs forward and just with a wisp. And then the guy just smells brimstone as the last thing he smells. If I'm killing him, which I believe that I am, I just grab oh, yeah. the dagger or grab the short sword and just go right across his throat and clean take his head off, and then. <laughs> Back, back into the shadows. <laughs> so you you step out, uh, you step out, and and like yeah, cut his throat. And I think that we we see like Baron. You see him. He, he looks at you like, wait, what? Like what's going? What's going on? And then you get blood all over the front of you as it gushes from his his aorta as it's sliced open by Velmir. <laughs> uh, now Velmir, you have another attack. You can attack the guy next oh, to you. Oh yeah, no, we're going for him. <laughs> yeah. Offhand dagger. 
Uh, all right. Let's go with that offhand. Boom. Okay, so you uh, you still have advantage, right? Oh no, you don't have advantage anymore because you're not you're not hidden. Um, and you you could use your sneak attack if this hit and you hadn't already used it. So you're fine. Okay. okay. So you miss. You get that eight. Wait, do uh, I get advantage coming from stealth? Uh, if you yeah, if you're hidden, your first attack will have advantage. Oh my yeah. god. Um, but yeah, yeah Velomir, you don't um, you don't hit this guy. Like you you lash out at him and he's he's already started to turn and you you stab into his um uh, into his armor. Gotcha. Uh, cool. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> Baron, uh, you don't get this round because it's a surprise oh. round just for Zephira. Oh, okay. Um, it just Zephira and Belmere. So Zephira, you can go. <laughs> now, the smart player would just shoot, would just fucking attack this guy. But I want to know mechanically, if yeah. I wanted to charge this guy, have him fly over Baron and into the pit of spikes, <laughs> what, is, yes. what are the roles involved in that? Athletics or strength check? Just, just not possible at this point. Like, <laughs> okay. you, can't, you can't tackle a guy ten feet through your friend. <laughs> now, if if Baron, if Baron had first on his turn, had taken been, his like, turn, crouched down, <laughs> we could have done the old trick. Could have done the old, <laughs> the old trick. The old old trick. <laughs> yeah, not not in this case. All right, I uh, yeah, I just. Uh, Surely merged. we inform Baron of this plan beforehand. <laughs> yeah. I, right in front of the spikes. Yeah, I, I just emerged down from the, in front of the spikes as if you were praying, and I'll throw him over your back. Exactly. I emerge from the the shadows, and the moon kind of hits my scimitar as it glints uh, in the guy's eyes for fifteen. Thank God. Uh, yeah, fifteen's a hit. Uh, seven damage, yeah. and I also rage, but nothing okay. damage wise is added. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so you you emerge from the shadow, uh, and and yeah, that one guy dies immediately. The other guy gets hit with your sword. Uh, he draws a scimitar and blocks some of it, but you you cut into his chest. I guess this is the the girl that was healing him. So she she shouts. Uh, she's like um, she's like it's a trick, and uh, and the others uh, like realize they're being attacked. Um, Plum also handles his surprise. She doesn't back say it's a trap. She's we're back at the no. We're back at the top of the turn. Uh, Velomir, you can go. Okay. God. Ideally, I'd be attacking this. But well, you're going to... This is Focus okay. fire if down, you, Max. If you attack that guy, uh, you can sneak attack him. You don't have advantage, but you do have, you do have sneak attack. I'm worried about Plum. Yeah, if Plum goes down, lights go Look, out. Uh, fo uh, focus... Focus, Max. <laughs> Fuck Plum, focus. <laughs> you got to alpha right, strike yeah. this shit down. I'll go over we'll and help Plum. We'll sneak attack, we'll sneak attack. Mm -hmm. Hit him with the short sword. <laughs> Not. Okay, yeah, you hit. Uh, you get an 18. Uh, do you want this to be your sneak attack? Before you roll damage? You can, you can still move. You can, you can, you can attack and move because you haven't moved yet. Was that yes or no for the no. sneak attack? No? Okay. All right. So just regular damage. Okay. So you deal three. All right. Sick. Still, okay, still alive. Okay, uh, badly stabbed, but still alive. Offhand. Dagger action. Let's go. So you missed with the dagger, too. This is the, the dagger's cursed. I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first hit, you, you hit him. So, uh, Baron, what do you want to do? Okay. Oh, uh, also, you can, you can move if you want, Velomir. Um, yeah. I don't know if you want to because he'll, he'll get an attack on you. If you yeah, just that. throw yourself over there in between Plum. Surely they won't one-shot you this round. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you, Max. Yeah, you can get to Plum directly. Uh, you just get sw swung at by that guy, but you could avoid the sneak attack. Okay. And there's okay. guys on the right, so be careful. Fucking foolish. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to stay where you are? You're going to move? Yeah, I'll just stay where I'm at. Okay. All right. Baron, your turn. All right. Um, I'm excited. I'm going to use a spell I've never, done, I've never used before. Okay. All right. First thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to attack the guy next to me with my mace. Excellent. Good start. So let's do that. 14. Uh, 14 is a hit. Yep. Okay. And then damage nine. Oh my God. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. How do you, how do you kill this guy? He's turned completely around because Velomir and, and Zephira are all up in his business. Uh, and then he, he dies. Is he the one that shouted and gave the look. The no, the, the one that the one that gave the look like I don't want to kill these people is already dead. He was the first one to I die. Killed the poor, poor soft bandit. Uh, this is the woman that was helping him and kind of giving him shit for being a baby. Okay. 
So I just take my hammer and just well it in the back of her her, her <laughs> head. It kind of gets stuck on the back of her skull and I have to yank it out of there. Awesome. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, cast a bonus action spell. I'm going to cast Sanctuary on uh, Plum. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. That's a good oh. choice. Uh, cool. Okay. So tell us, tell us what Sanctuary does. So Sanctuary, it wards a creature uh, from attack. So if a creature tries to attack that character, they have to make a wisdom save. If they fail, they have to take a new target or just don't attack it. Excellent. Okay. So what does the, what does the Sanctuary of Temperance look like? Is there a visual effect or is it just purely like mental? There is a, there is like a swirling, like windy sort of mist around the person that's, that's sanctuary that's being in sanctuary and inside there is you can just feel like a warmth and calm um so plum would be feel a little more comfortable hopefully in this protected barrier nice i like it yeah protected by 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 temperance so basically it takes the the all the like negative emotion that's required to harm a person and kind of just like brings that down it's like maybe i shouldn't try to kill this guy maybe you that know, would be a bad idea that's cool like Velomir, that. that spell would have been useful to have any times that you died right like that's <laughs> if, if you attack the person that's uh that's unsanctuary can't attack or... now do you oh. do you warn do you warn plum not to attack do you tell I, him I, I, I shall Plum, don't move and just hold the torch. <laughs> just stand there while these two murderers spend. It's think about killing you. All right, we'll make a will save for him to see if he attacks them. Um, but yeah, that's that's a good uh, that's a good start. So you've warned him to like chill out. He was just warning him. Mm-hmm. Just, just trust. trust. So I'll give yeah. him uh, Zephira, it is uh, it is your turn. Just want to say in the extra video today, there's this fight will be brought up and why I'm giving Dan so much shit will be talked about. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a reason for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will. I'll dash over to uh, this one behind Plum and strike at him with my scimitar. I okay, that was definitely like yeah, twenty feet. Okay, uh, scimitar. Oh, hold on, no, that's not that's not twenty feet because you're you're covering. Oh, is that uh, rough terrain? That's that's rough fifteen. Terrain. Yeah, rough terrain. So it's actually like forty feet. So what about? Can I do that? Uh, the other one. Let's see. So you're going ten. I mean, I, I could go 15. You could go here. You go 30. That would put and I you... can attack diagonal. And you can attack diagonal. You can okay, attack great. Diagonal. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right. Scimitar attack. Go. 18. Yeah, boy. You did damage. Five damage. Not, I rolled a one. Okay. The one. All right. So five, five damage to that guy. So you come whirling over the hill, like leap off the hill and come down with a scimitar slash. Yep. Um, Plum has combat erupting all around him, but he's got Baron yelling like, chill your shit, man. So let's let's see if he can do it. I'm going to give him advantage on this roll. Uh, if he succeeds, uh, we'll see just a DC 10 uh, wisdom save. If he succeeds, he won't attack. Uh, if he fails, uh, good two. thing he has advantage. Oh, uh, he got a two Fucking and a 14, hell, yeah. and the 14, he's got advantage. Oh. So instead, uh, instead, he's going to move. Um, so... Uh, he doesn't want to run directly into that trap, so he's going to go this way. It'd be funny, though, if he panic ran into the trap. <laughs> yeah, totally. No, he, he remembers that it's there, and he's going to stay within stay within distance so Zavira can see the ones that are attacking him, uh, but they do get two, uh, two attacks on him as he runs. I feel like he's probably just one of those weird New Zealanders that like starts rolling down the hill and fucking starts <laughs> yeah. going for days. Is that a thing they do in New Zealand? They have like a... Yeah, maybe it's, New, maybe it's not New Zealand. I don't know. There's some uh, hill that's like famous for the famous hill roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Um, so he's not he's not running in a panic. So actually, I think what I'm gonna do is his action will be to disengage, then he'll move. So he's done, uh, and they don't get to attack him. Uh, so now uh, the the strangers, the strangers in the hills. Hey, slum, you fuckhead. <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> they they go to attack Zafira. Uh, Plum is safe. Plum, the light source is safe, so it's cool. Got decent AC. Um. Max, and, what do uh, we say about saying that I have decent AC? All right, yes. you got. Sh- you're gonna get fucked up. There you go. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank so you. two two scimitar attacks on Zafira, uh, a crit. <laughs> <laughs> and oh a my god! A crit. Max you're hit fault. for uh, six damage. Three Zafira. damage. Yep. So you take three. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay, so that works. <laughs> Uh, and then, and I don't know, I don't know if Zafira can see them. No, Zafira definitely can't. Um, the two with crossbows that are back here in the in the pass, uh, they both fire at uh, Velomir. Okay. 
Um, and let me see if they. Hey can Max, see. you're gonna do great. You have so much AC here. You're gonna I do fine. They, they can they can see you because Plum's got I'm the light so on fun. you. Here we go. Velmir's dropping. Doesn't you're want gonna to. do great. Yeah, and Velmir, you can see them, so that's cool. There's no invisibility between you. All right, fucking two, roll it. Two shots on Velmir. First shot, a hit. Uh, second shot, a hit. Uh, so it's 21 out of 15. Take me Vel down. Take Vel me down, Adam. You that's enough to take me down, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Velmir, you take 10 damage. Max, you have so much AC. You're going to do great, Max. <laughs> Sweet dreams, princess. Down you go. <laughs> oh, well... It's like a fun little game we play now, you know? So, Baron, all, all you hear is the, the, the faint twanging of two crossbows, and then suddenly Velomir has, like, a crossbow sticking out of his neck and one out of his ribs. And what's what's the look on Velomir's face before he passes out? <laughs> Velomir's like, not again. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what, did, uh, what did Baron say about temperance? Sometimes the gods knock us out so we can get back up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's All the right. sound I'm too familiar with. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, Velmir, death save, please. Chad, even if they had disadvantage, it's still a 20 and a 30. So this isn't, so this isn't the one where we roll a one, right? Uh, no, you won't die if you roll a one, but it's it's a bad time. Give All me that right. 20, Max. Give me that 20. Come on, 20. <laughs> oh! Oh, yes! The power of price, so stand up, Max! What up? <laughs> Fucking awesome. Tony Robbins comes over and says, Not today, motherfucker! <laughs> Unleash the beast. Unleash Bellamy. the beast! <laughs> Unleash the beast, motherfucker! <laughs> All right, Velomir unleashes the beast within. You have one hit point, Velomir. You are conscious. Yeah, you. You're lying on your ass, but you're up. You, got, you, you, you pass out for just a second and wake up suddenly with crossbow corals sticking out of you. <laughs> um, Baron, it is your turn. What are you going to do? Okay. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> See how far away I am. Okay. Um, Baron will go ahead and rush. Now that he sees that he's conscious and awake, he will go ahead and run over to the next to the crossbow guy. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we'll go ahead and just attack with our mace. Okay. All right. 21. Holy nice. shit, Baron. Yeah, yes. 21 hits. At least the beast. Shit. All right. For three. Okay, three damage. Awesome. So yeah, you, you run over and I think in the distance through through your, your rage, Zephira, you can hear like bones crunch uh, in the in the dark off to uh, uh, to your, uh, I guess, behind you. Um, I just hear some here. loud noises. Yeah, it's your turn. Uh, I'll attack the one that I was, I think it's this one, the one that I already attacked. Mm -hmm. One that okay. I already stabbed with Scimitar. Sure. 15. Uh, yeah, yeah, you hit. 10 damage, big damage. Yes. Yeah, okay. it was actually this one, and yeah, you kill him. Fuck it, I disembowel. Yes. Okay, sure. Yeah, you just you cut him open. Uh, yeah. He seems startled and frustrated by his sudden death. Uh, do you want to move or do anything else with that action? Uh, no, I just right. I turn with a grin to the the one to my right, and maybe I just yeah. kind of like beckon him towards me. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Plum stays where he is. He does as does as commanded. Um, all right, so there's three of them. Uh, Baron, the one next to you uh, is going to uh, is going to attack you uh, with his scimitar, and he gets a 16, so just barely misses you. Uh, thanks to you. And shit. Um, and then the one uh, to the um, north of you is going to move and then attack. So he comes closer to you, takes a swing with. Uh, his scimitar and same thing. Yeah, fucking got Baron. God awesome. damn, tanking that um, shit. This motherfucking Zephira. cleric. Uh, Zephira, you get attacked with the scimitar, uh, and it's a hit with an eighteen uh, for four damage. So Two you, damage. Uh, Velomir, it is your turn. You are conscious, awake, alive. That's you the good. rage thing that, that halves your damage, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's so good. Um, Velomir is. So they're focused on him. Do I get any sort of like sneak attack from shooting from over here, or any sort of bonus as a like a light bolt or for like a light crossbow shooting bolts, or is it just straight up? Uh, it's just yeah, just normal. You'll get to because there's a uh, someone within five feet of your target. You'll get to sneak attack if you want to with your crossbow. Okay, yeah, with the crossbow, uh, but you don't get any don't get any bonus. Yeah. So I'm, okay. Let me do sneak attack then from here. Yeah, we'll just do that. All right. 
fire off a bolt. All right. Uh, okay, yeah. no, you miss. You miss by right. one. Right. But cold. hey, you're alive. And that's you are it. alive, Max. You're a little <laughs> groggy from being dead, nearly. Yeah. Uh, Baron. Baron, it is your turn. Unless Velomir wants to move. Velomir is... Uh, you can you can take your action. Uh, I think you can stealth if you you can go into stealth if you want to hide. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, sure. Yeah, instead of moving, um, cool. Make a stealth roll. <laughs> I just imagine Velmer. Boom! And his bullet just goes off <laughs> like, in the distance. Fuck like, Fucking hits Auntie back in her hut, and then he's just like, <laughs> I'm invisible. I'm invisible. Yeah. All right. So you got a twenty-one on your twenty-one. Stealth. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Zephira, it is your turn. What would you? Uh, like? It's my turn. It's Baron's, yeah. Here, my turn. Oh yeah, Baron. That's right. Yeah, we didn't. All right, so I will swing again at the same target with my hammer. Okay. And uh, miss. Yes, really. an eight. Yep. <laughs> and then. Okay, and you just stay and <laughs> tank these two. Just gonna tank. Cool, two. Zephira. Now you can. Uh, now you can go. Yep. Uh, jab at the guy with the scimitar. Eleven missed by one. Yeah, you miss. Yeah. Motherfucker. Yep. Okay, Plum. I, and at that point, I say, I, I like scream at Plum, like, Plum, we need you. <laughs> okay, yeah, he, you're going to have to be more specific. I say, Plum, we need you as I'm fucking just like jabbing this guy with my scimitar. Attack this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, yeah, so he'll, um, I mean, Baron, you, you hear, you hear very shouting that through, through rage. Uh, what do you, do you want to like chime in? Cause he, he was listening to you before. Uh, yeah. It, uh, it should be safe. Um, oh, Zephira. <laughs> it'll, it'll be fine. Okay. So Plum, yes. Plum you, steals You can himself. never quite match the RP in a fight. It always sounds like it's going to be great. You're going to do great. It's a kid. Just <laughs> fucking just all out <laughs> war. You're going to do fine. I kind of, I kind of like Baron's like on the DL. Like, no, I'm not saying like he can oh, just in general. Yeah. It's so hard to match the, the anger of a fight when it yeah. comes to actual You're literally trying to murder someone before they murder you. Like yeah. literally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, uh, I checked, uh, I was just checking the book, uh, Velomir, you, you actually have to use an action to stealth. So you can't use your movement instead. So you're not, oh. you're not hit. at level two. Well, I think. Next, two. next level you'll be yeah, at two. level two. You um, can. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, plum, Bravely, spear held aloft, uh, charges up to uh, to attack this guy. And oops, that wasn't him. Hold on. Fucking plump! God damn it! Fucking plump! Plum Fucking plum. Plum is a guard, not a bandit. Uh, he has a different bo a different bonus. So he comes over and he like rushes in to to stab him, but the the bandit deflects the attack and pushes him aside. Wasn't he using uh, a scimitar last fight? No, no, he's got a he's got a spear. Oh, uh, he uh, yeah, that's what he's using now. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so they're gonna go. Um, the bandit uh, is going to attack Plum. Yeah, uh, he is. To you, so he takes a swing with a scimitar, uh, hits Plum for uh, four damage. It's uh, fine. Plum is, yeah, Plum's He's fine. Okay. Plum's still up. Guy. Yeah, so Plum yelps, yelps in pain uh, as the, uh, <laughs> the the deflection of the spear turns into a counter attack and uh, and slashes him in the chest. Uh, and then two attacks on Baron. Uh, a 16 and a 13, so no hits on Baron. Velomir, it is your turn. Do it, Velomir. Do it. Go big, go home. And you don't have a home. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck, yeah, I guess we'll just fling some more bolts. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. Yeah, that's because of the noise. The noise helps. Do you want a sneak attack? Yeah, of course. Okay. Go, big fucking damage. Nice. Yeah, Is that max right. damage on the fucking wow. Damage too. It's uh, like crossbows do D eight. What the yeah, fuck? It's too, yeah, it's too too shy too shy of max damage. I need to uh, get a light crossbow out. scimitar. Adam, it's always max damage when I shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. For those people who don't know, my real name is Max. That's good. Okay, so he's dead. You um, he's he's fighting off uh these two assailants, and then suddenly just crossbow to the head. Down he goes. Do you want to move now? Uh, do I still have a shot on this guy over here? Um, the one to the right of Aaron. Um, yeah, here. yeah. You've got you've got line of sight on that guy. All right, I'll stay here. Seems good as any. Yeah, totally. All right, uh, Zafira, it is your turn. Wait, you killed the one next to me. Yeah, your target is dead. God you you go to attack him, he just falls down. Motherfucker. Hey, what? Fucker. 
I yeah, think he's dead. I wasn't yeah. aiming at that guy. You weren't. Oh, you're near me. Oh, you're oh, near me. Uh, okay. Well, he's dead instead. Um. Okay. So let me let me figure that. So yes, use the fear. You still have a target. This guy's okay. still up. Great. Yeah, I, mis uh, I misunderstood what Max was saying. Okay. Well, before I attack, I say, Baron, how many are left over there? I can't see sheet. <laughs> There's just one on me. Kill that oh. one. I'll deal with this one. <laughs> I swing the scimitar. Fucking Christ. You, you do not deal with him. You miss. It helps if you hit. Baron, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you're, you're shouting like essentially back to back over 40. Yeah. Feet, like, shut up. Oh. Well, you're just like, did you see what I did, guys? <laughs> I'm just doing the yeah. shit. Boing, boing. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see. Plum, uh, Plum will try to try to make good. Spear attack. Uh, gets a 15 and hits. Oh, Plum. For uh, six damage. Fuck yeah, Plum. And, uh, which Get hurts, it. hurts, but doesn't kill uh, this one. And then the uh, bandits will go. So this bandit's going to scimitar attack Plum and miss. Got an eight. Fuck yeah, he is. And then the one attacking Baron. Stop fighting yourself, Adam. <laughs> the one attacking Baron gets a 15, so also misses. Uh, Velomir, you want to repeat performance the last time? Mm-hmm. All right, man, do it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to fire off at this bandit now because it seems like in this scenario, Zafira can't hold her own. <laughs> God so. damn it. There's a. Do, do what you want. <laughs> we'll RP it out. It's fine. <laughs> What are you going to say? you going to meta? Do it. Just do it. Just do it, man. Just take your shot. Oh, Damn. shit. All right. I assume you want to sneak attack that shit. Mm -hmm. All right. Do it. This is mega damage right here. Well, oh, all right. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> how, how much damage? Please, Velmir, tell us. How much damage did you deal this poor fucker? It is 17? It is 17 damage, yes. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah. And that's like pretty low for a like, crossbow crit from where you're standing because... You could have rolled, you rolled a one on your crit die on the, yeah. the attack. It could be as high as 20, almost 30 damage. So I'm going to say his head explodes in a fiery explosion. <laughs> That's a little bit overkill, but there's definitely some, some spray. He gets as killed as almost as killed as you can be with a crossbow bolt. Um, yeah, he's, he's super dead. Baron gets splattered with, uh, with blood. Um, Wait, he so, killed the one to the right? <laughs> Uh, or uh, Plum gets splattered with blood. Velomir uh, shots yeah. up. That's yeah, how you do it. Can go. <laughs> Before the body even like hits the ground, I just start walking uh, over to Baron. I say, Baron, leave that one alive. We have questions well, to take, ask. Baron's going to take a turn first. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, you didn't just hear that, so you attack willy-nilly. You can talk yeah. anytime, but yeah, Baron, go ahead. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Well, then that's what I say. I, I, I say, Baron, leave that one alive. We have questions to ask. All right. I'll soften him up for you. I just swing at him. Uh, yeah, you hit. Eight damage. You kill him. The fucking uh, now, party oh, came oh. through. Now you can choose when you when you deal damage. If you bring someone to zero, you can choose if you want to uh, kill him or knock him out. That's that's up to you. I say knock him out. We'll do yeah. non-lethal damage. So what does what does that look like when you knock this so guy out with your? Instead of hitting him with the the front of my mace, I hit him with the back end of it and just step hit him right in in between his helmet and it knocks him straight on the ground. Cold. Bang! Hit him in the head. Down he goes. So he slumps to the ground. The rest of them are the rest of them are dead. I saved him for you. <laughs> I turn to Plum and say, "Are you all right, Mister Plum?" <laughs> he, uh, he he nods and, and, and says, "I'm uh, I'm I'm fine. Uh, a little beat up, but surprisingly calm." Yeah, uh, I I sheathe the the sword and start dragging the bodies all together over near the pit. Okay. I mean, when you say pit, it's not, I mean, towards where the spikes were. Sure. Yeah. Okay. A little a tiny hole. Little hole. Yeah. <laughs> the indentation. Yeah. Um, okay. Can you, uh, can everybody make a perception check, please? Just okay. Real, real quick perception check. Okay. Oh God. I don't like the sound of that. 17. That's pretty okay. high. 13, 10, 17, 13, 10. Okay. I'm going to roll one for, our little guard friend here. Um, 16. 16. He's okay. fucking perceptive right. as fuck. So, Zephira, you and 
you and Plum at the same time, you notice uh, he, he, he points up the hill and you can only notice it because the moon is um, like between, it's between you and the moon. So you can see the, the like, uh, shadows. Um, several figures, probably like a half dozen uh, small rat-like creatures up on the nearest hill. Uh, you can see them kind of like scurrying around, uh, hiding behind rocks, like watching. They're watching the fight. We don't have much time. Our friends have seen us and I point towards the hill. And maybe I take the, <clears throat> when I say that, I, I take Plum's torch and just kind of like either put my hand on it or somehow just like rub it in the mud so it goes out. Okay, yeah, you take it, like you just take it from him and, and put it out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's, uh, it goes out. And I think I think we see uh, the, the sort of shadowy shapes you had up at the top of the hill. When the light goes out, everything goes dark and you can just see like the moonlight uh, the last or the last flickers of the torch because the moon's behind them, uh, like flickering in their beady yellow eyes. Uh, and now you two uh, are are bathed in darkness. Um, yep, we run. But the rest, but Baron, you and you and Velomir still have your your dim light available. We run. Yeah, I'm running. Yeah. Uh, okay. Gonna, we're gonna take gonna a run? break as well. Yeah, let's, let's take a break and then you can decide what you do. But basically, yeah, you're at least partly surrounded by uh, by kobolds up on these hills. Yeah. All right, oh let's take uh, break number two. Still got two hours left to go here on Court of Swords, so don't go anywhere. We'll see you guys right after this. In about three to five minutes, we'll see you then. <laughs> 